In this tutorial, we're going to talk about cloning individual pages and posts within a WordPress website. Before we jump in though, I just want to remind you WordPress users out there to head over to our site at atinyrhino.com to check out the suite of do-it-yourself SEO and website marketing tools. We have the best traffic building tools, lead generation tools, rank tracking tools, keyword research tools, and much more. So I'm going to include a link to the site just below this video. So anyways, let's jump in. Cloning a page or post in WordPress requires that you have a plugin called Page Builder by Site Origin installed and activated on your site. Once Page Origin is installed, you'll likely be prompted to install another plugin called Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. So install both those plugins. Both plugins are free and only take a second to install. Next, what you need to do is create the template post or page you want to clone. Essentially, this will be the content that you can duplicate as often as you'd like without ever, without having to worry about creating it from scratch each time. So I'm going to begin here by creating a new post and calling it template. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a few small design elements that I want all of my posts within my site to have. So I'll use page builder here to create a page that has a full width row on top with my desired heading size and font, as well as my desired formatting for the body content. Below, I'll add a row with two columns, and I'm gonna put a video here in the left column, and let's say a sign up a button in the right column. I just wanna say here that not only is this a great feature for those of you who are admitting your own WordPress websites, but it's especially handy if more than one person is working on your WordPress site, uh, and you're trying to ensure a visual consistency with both your style and formatting. So these plugins really help ensure that everyone is really kind of working on the same page with the same style and formatting. So once you're done here, you can just click on save. Now, next time I add a new page or post, Page Builder will ask me if I want to use a pre-built layout. I can click on that button to get started. Now on this next page, what I'm gonna see here is I'm gonna be prompted to select between pages or posts. Since I'm creating a blog post right now, I'll select posts. Now I'll use the search feature to search for the page I just built, which I've entitled template. Now all I need to do is click on that post. You will then be warned that you're about to overwrite existing content by selecting this option. And for us, that's fine because we haven't created any content on this page yet. So I'm gonna click okay. Now my new template is copy, copied into my new post. And notice also that it duplicates all the columns and the rows, any widgets that I had um, within those rows are also carried over. So this is helpful again, because it really helps me create one master template to work with, which is a huge time saver since I don't need to re-add all of these elements or change the formatting each time that I wanna create a new post or page. All I need to do now is just click save and then view my changes. There you go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, remember, if you're looking to drive more organic traffic to your website or capture more leads, increase your conversion rate, or find low competition organic keywords, head over to atinyrhino.com to sign up for our do-it-yourself SEO tools for WordPress webmasters. Take care and have a great day.